Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts here, here to talk about a Christmas miracle that I got to witness one-on-one -on -one myself in person, as they say, up front and personal. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to share this Christmas miracle with you. I hope it encourages you. And the reason I'm sharing it is because I know that during this time of celebration, everybody's getting all the presents and putting up all the decorations. It's a festive time for most people. But for some, might even be you, it is sometimes the saddest time of year. For some reason, it seems like a lot of us experience hardship during a time that's supposed to be joyful. So I hope this encourages you and I wish you a Merry Christmas before I get started. Now, I'm going to talk about a friend of mine who had a very difficult situation occur. The title of this is in Time for Christmas, Chapter 31. I was sitting at home, minding my own business, when my best friend came over. Well, normally, I would have been happy to see her, but she was seething. She was mad at the world and mad at God. I think I would have felt the same way had I been in her place. I understood her reaction to her predicament. Because of circumstances that were out of her control, she and her daughters were forced to move into a hotel temporarily. Be but check this out. Because of greed, the hotel manager had just informed her that she and her daughters had to go two days before Christmas. The hotels along the parade route in the city of downtown Pasadena usually double or triple their prices by the holidays to accommodate the higher paying New Year's crowds. As a result, the poor have to hit the door. The almighty dollar had the last say for that day. My following poem says it all. The way I see it, and from here, it looks ugly and it stinks. So here is my poem, Baby Get Back. For those of you who are financially strapped, their word for you is baby get back. Though you're down on your luck and out in the cold, they say that tired song is really getting old. I'm smelling some money that I plan to make mine. Not trying to be funny, but you vacate the line. The wealthy just love coming out here to play while you still have nothing and nowhere to stay. But fret not, God has been with you right from the start. He'll always have someone near with a good caring heart. When life hurts so much you don't know what to do, God will make a way for help to make its way to you. How would you have felt? I know I would have been angry and hurt. My friend was hot. Where was she supposed to go and take her daughters? Did they expect her to sleep on the street? She paid her way. Why couldn't they let her and her daughters stay? I listened as she ranted and raved so that she could get it all off her chest. What a problem that was. That was right before Christmas. I would never want to know how that feels to go through a crisis like that in a million years. I asked her if I could pray for her. No, I don't want prayer. Prayer is not what we need. We need a place to live. Pat, what am I supposed to do? I, I could feel her passion encumbered with the desperation. I held her in my arms and prayed anyway. She began to cry while I cried to God with her. 
Lord, please give Edie a miracle and help her and her daughters find a place in time for the Christmas holidays. She thanked me. Anyway, she did allow me to pray. Then she rushed out and took she looked for a place where her family could lay their heads. She hit the magic button. Check this out. When she joined with her daughters that evening, she told them that as a family, they needed to call out to God together and ask him to intervene. They agreed in prayer. Edie explained that there was no other help but God's at that point. All families should do that more often. The results just might amaze you. The next day, I heard a loud horn blowing and blowing. I looked outside to see who the nut was that was making all that noise. To my surprise, it was Edie. We found a place. We found a place. We're moving in today. I'm getting a tree too. God answered our prayers. We found a home. Later, she called me to fill me in on all the details. This is the biggest miracle. She told me that the landlord was trusting her to move in without a deposit of any kind. Edie explained that her check was coming within the, the month of January because of God's mercy, because of Christmas, and because the lady had a caring heart. Edie and her girls were allowed to move in for nothing. <laughs> They got a place just in time for Christmas. Isn't that just like God's kind of Christmas miracle? The check came in January, and the landlady, with the big heart, was compensated as agreed. God will make a way out of no way. As the old folks used to say, he is due to trust. I have been young, and now I'm old, yet. I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Psalms 37, 25. By the way, Edie dedicated her family in church as a public acknowledgement of her love for the Lord. She still loves God and God still is blessing her. Looks like their love connection is forever. What do you think? That's the story. And that is written in my book, That Still Blows My Mind. I had to share that testimony. And that is what my book has a lot of stories where God has intervened in ways that a lot of people would never expect. That's why they're called miracles. Anyway, God bless you for Christmas. I hope your head is lifted up. I hope that you that you have uh, that your trust in God will grow. That you will if you have been disillusioned by life, please don't put the blame on God. Go to him like Edie did and see what he will do for you. God bless you and Merry 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 Chris